is when you're with the win. Hayden Epstein, you can see, averages almost 40 yards a boot. Eugene Wilson is the single safety for the fighting Illini. And it's a fake. Running right up the middle is Cross, and Cross in the secondary breaks the tackle at the 35, and he's free. He'll take it all the way down to the 17-yard line. Had to see something in the tapes Michigan. of Illinois the early in the season in one of their first three ball games to get this wide open. Walter Cross, the up back, the snap was right to him, and they really opened this thing up. Hunter does a good job of faking like it went over his head, and then you see Walter Cross against Eugene Wilson in the secondary. Good call, and Ron, with this win. He's a junior, but a kid who has really stepped up for them, number 72, who plays at right guard position. First and goal for Michigan. Straight up the middle, spinning, touchdown, Anthony Thomas. Chop room number 83 was the man in motion. He was the lead blocker. When you blow a 27-7 lead, you remember it. And they, that's what happened last year. And they, you talked about it in the open. They've, they've marked this date. And so you come in here, you take a couple chances early in the ballgame, the fake punt, because you want to get on this football team at their house. Hayden Epstein right down the middle and now here comes a flag in late I think they were up to a knee and they head to the locker room and what a momentum builder for Illinois beyond the touchdown that they scored to put them on top to stop Michigan and no points on the board coach very frustrating first half I think the last series really indicated that what do you tell the team in the locker room well we're in good shape we're in good shape we just got to do a better job of uh, the kicking game, and uh, we're playing good defense. We got to come out and play a great second half. Uh, I like the way Drew played right there at the end. Who starts at quarterback in the second half for you? Henson. Okay, Ron. Okay, good hustle there, Adrian. We are at halftime with our score. As they head to the locker room. Illinois 14 and Michigan 7. Now at Sports Center in Curry has to make the play. Jameel Cook comes back in, and you have to wonder if maybe Michigan needs to keep an eye on him as far as a pass receiver in this situation. I, I would keep an eye on him and everybody else because they're they are Michigan's not playing very well on defense. Sneak. He'll have it. Behind Brandt, Hutchinson, and Mast. First side, the Illinois 45 yard line. Henson wants to go long for Terrell. And he caught it. Now did he push off? There are no All is caught by Terrell. Back questioning the officials. That's good for 38 yards. So there's a flag down around the 40 yard line, but uh, not on the catch. Pick up the first down without scoring, but they have to take it to the half yard line. Henson going to run it. At the five, he will score. And has come in this ball game and has sparked life into his offense. Now his defense needs to pick it up. And well, let's we'll see if Del Vern will be the kicker here, Ron. Yeah, it sure looks like Henson again at quarterback. He just joined us. Navarre started, but Henson playing for the first time this year. And it is Perry. One tackler was there at the 40 yard line as he broke it big and almost that big play that Mike Gottfried was talking about. Abdul leader. Second and eight. Henson. Got to run. And there 
is the big play Mike Gottfried was talking about. Touchdown, Michigan. 57 yards. Drew Hansen has come in here and made a difference in this offense. David Terrell with big catches. It almost looks like he pushes off a little bit on this catch. See if we can see it. Yeah, he's got Trayvon uh, on. Comes the blitz. Going to the end zone. And it is caught for the touchdown, Mavoy. Around, yeah. For a jump ball, that's difficult. Blitz coming up the middle of the with the run, and here's Thomas. Still fighting inside the 15-yard line. Abdullah will make the stop. It's a gain of 19. Chris Perry, blocker in front. Kedestine. And the touchdown, and just like that, Michigan right back in this ball game and, and could cut it to three. We have one left, one left. Big third down. Illinois needs to take it out to the 30. Good protection. Now it breaks down. The pass, and that's Harvey. Oh, an open field tackle. That ball came loose. Harvey recovered his own fumble. It was Victor Hobson who just turned him 360 degrees. It also saved a first down, and there's a marker down. Excellent tackle. Going to get to force the punt. Illegal block in the back on the offense. That penalty's been declined. Result of the play was a fumble. They gave the ball to Michigan. We thought for the world that Harvey had recovered it. He was an outlet receiver. There's the excellent tackle. They're saying the ball is out before he hit the ground. Well, it was coming out. You can see that right there. But I thought that he recovered the ball himself, Mike. See, Harvey comes right up, right here, scoops at the ball. Three minutes left in our ball game, 31-28 Illinois. Thomas again. First of speed, 15, 10, 5, lost the football. Illinois has recovered. They say, they say the ground caused it. Anthony Thomas. That ball was coming out before yeah. his knee went down. Bobby Jackson on the hit. Right there. Yep, it's out. That ball is out. <laughs> Brandon Moore had made the recovery, but the officials... These officials have got a lot to look at after this game tonight. Both ways. The right side. Touchdown, Anthony Thomas. Touchdown. Well, this game has just completely turned here in the... Field goal won't do him any good. This one off. It's Cook again. Over the 40, 45. Kashuma making the tackle for Michigan. Michigan's call, calling for another fumble here. They got it. Larry Foote has recovered the ball. Cook catches the outlet pass. Eight unanswered points and upset at the big house. Henson down to one knee. And you see the arms go up. Drew Henson is back almost 100%. And Lloyd Carr has to be pleased with the the comeback effort by his club yeah. tonight. Drew Henson led this football team. It was a game of Kurt Kittner against Drew Henson. A uh, couple calls at uh, controversial, and they'll be talked about for a long time.